Hello, I'm, I'm going to talk about my July favorites since this month has been going by so fast and it's like July 27th and it's almost August, which I'm kind of happy because it's almost fall and I love fall because I hate it when it's like so hot outside. It's been like 90 degrees and it feels like 100 and I'm like sweating and dripping in sweat. I hate hot weather. So... Yeah, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to talk about my favorite brushes that I've been obsessed with. And I've been literally my holy grills. Um, first, I'm going to start off by this, my blush brush. I've been using this as, you know, my blush, applying blush on my cheekbones. And it's the Sephora... Pro Flawless Light Powder, and it is my favorite blush brush of all times. So like, hands down, this is it. It's just because it just, you know, makes your skin flawless, and it's really good at blending the blush in. My next one is... The Real Techniques. I use this too as a blush, but that's only if my Sephora brush is dirty. I use this. And I use this for bronzer. I've been using this a lot for bronzer too. The majority of the time I use it for bronzer and I use it for my pressed powder brush. Powder. This is my pressed powder brush. This is the Tarte Bamboo, and it's for foundation, and I've been using it for my Tarte foundation and my BB cream, my It Cosmetics BB cream, which I love for the summer, which I'm going to talk about that later on this video. So this is great for foundation, applying it on my face, and making my skin look flawless and natural. I have two more brushes. This brush is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer F64, and it's great for concealer, putting the concealer, you know, underneath my eyes like this, blending it. It's literally my favorite concealer brush of all time. Ever since I got it. This is Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. And I just, I love it because it's for, it's great for blending my eyeshadow. It's just a really great, affordable brush. And, yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut Tox Concealer. This is my favorite NARS Radiant, I think it's Radiant Creamy Concealer Brush. Or concealer, not brush, concealer. And this, it's literally, I've been obsessed with it. It just, it's so natural on, you know, it hides my pimples and zits, since you, you can't tell I have any. And it's great for concealer, for like, you know, covering up my dark circles and Love it. This, I've been using this for my eyeshadow, and it is the MAC. I don't know what it's called because it rubbed off. I've been having this for like years, and it is, I, I love it. I mean, it was great for a brush, like a blush, not a brush, a blush, and it is. Just amazing for eyeshadow too. Like you can use a lot of 
blushes for your eyeshadow and I love it. I, I love this color for my eyeshadow. So yeah. This right here, Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. I love how it has a mirror too, because you can see that it has a mirror. And it's white. I first, I picked it up at the store, at Ulta, and I was like, okay, well, this is white. It would probably look white on me. So the salesperson said to me, oh, no, it's versatile. It works in anyone. And I'm like, doesn't it look white on people, like really, really white? Like you have white on your face. And she goes, no, it won't. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll take her advice. And I did, and it literally is my favorite pressed powder of all times. It doesn't make your skin look so white. Like, you know, a white t-shirt colored. It just makes your makeup stay on so well. And it doesn't come off. And it lasts throughout the whole day. And you don't have to reapply it. And I love products that you don't have to like reapply. So yeah. That's like a really great one. This is my favorite blush. And Desert Rose it's called. I have it on my skin right now. On my cheekbones. And I love it because it's great. You know, it doesn't make your, it's great for the summer. It doesn't make your face burnt or like you're really burnt or like red. So I like it. I like how it's natural and I love wearing natural makeup for the summer. Um, I've been using this BB cream. This BB cream or CC cream, and it is it cosmetic your skin but better CC cream color corrector full coverage SPF 50, which is good when it's in the summer because you don't want to have burnt skin and sunburnt skin and it's just a really I don't know I probably use the heck out of it and it just stays on it lasts throughout the whole day it's just my favorite CC cream of all times so I've been using this this month not really my foundation because when I'm in the, I'm always in the Sun when I go outside to get my car so you know I like to and then it's like when I go grocery shopping or do errands I like I'm always in the sun and I like to use a CC cream this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color Trooper, it's what I have right now. And I've probably had this for like a year and it's still, I like it. It's like black and I probably need to get a new one because I've had it for a really long time and it lasts so long. Like, literally, I've had this for like. It's like maybe less than a year, but it lasts, and I love it, and I'm obsessed with it. This is Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner. I have it, you know, underneath my eyes, and it is my favorite eyeliner for I've, for this month. I've been using it every single day. 
for perfume, I've been obsessed with. It's called. It's really. It's this one. It's a. It's a. It's a sample. I got it for a sample, and it's the Yves Saint Laurent. It's all in French, so I don't know. But it smells amazing. It's. Mm, it smells amazing. Like, it's hard to describe what it smells like, but it's not strong. So, and you can't really smell it. And I like perfumes that you can't smell that you have it on. And it just smells fresh. It's, you know, it smells, I think, flowers. I think that's how you describe it, but it's hard to describe it. And my my all-time favorite, like, I've been using that every single day. And I've been using this Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Touch Fragrance Mist. And it's my favorite. Hands down, this is my favorite perfume. It's just, I've been using this every single day. I've been using it in, on myself. I even use it as a fragrance for my whole apartment to smell, you know, really good. So, I mean, it's not strong. I feel like it's not strong on me. And I just, it's my favorite. I mean, I had this for, like, years. Like, a really long time. And I still have quite a bit left. I mean, it lasts for a really long time, this bottle. So, and it's like a really cute pink bottle. And I've been using it, like I said, a really long time. Sometimes, and that's it for my July favorites. Sometimes, you know, I don't like to use lips, lip glosses, so I don't really use lip gloss because my lips are naturally pink, or they look pink. And for mascaras, I don't really use a mascara because it just makes my eyes watery, really watery, and it gets all over my whole face. And I haven't had any good luck with, you know, those waterproof mascaras. For me, there's makes my skin, my, my whole, like, eye just so watery, and that's why I've been leaning towards no mascara, because my eyes get so watery, and, yeah. So, that is it for my July favorites, and... I hope you all have a great one, and I'll talk to you all really soon. Bye.